what's going on you guys drum machine addicts is back again with another episode and today we are going to give you four easy steps for time stretching now if you're wondering what time stretching is say if you have a sample that you really like or a drum break that you really like and in your creative process you're saying man you know what this would sound really good if i could just slow down the bpm or if i could speed it up just a little bit well that's where time stretching comes in so without further ado let me give you these four steps all right, step one, find your sample and loop it. Now, as you can see here, we have a, a regular drum break that comes with the MPC content loaded up, and I've looped two bars of this sample. So I'm just gonna play it. Okay, now I really like what we have here, but I think some time stretching it and maybe slowing it down would be really cool. So after you find your sample and loop it, the next thing you want to do is just get the BPM for it. Now, in this case, what you can do is go to the tune button down here and do from BPM. Now, I know that there's eight beats in this measure that I have right here. So the cool thing about the MPC software is if you know how many beats that your um, loop has in it, how many beats per minute it has in it, then it can tell you what the BPM of the track is. So since I know it has eight beats per measure in that, it tells me that the BPM is 128. So I can just go ahead and manually switch that. All right, and I'm just gonna check to make sure. All right, sounds like we've got a good loop there. Sounds like we got the BPM down. So after you loop the sample and find the BPM, the next thing you wanna do is time stretch your sample. Click on the time stretch button right here. And as you can see, the number of beats is right there. Our BPM is right there. You have original tempo and the new tempo that you wanna set. All right, now it's at 128, but I think it would really sound good if we slowed it down to 98. So I'm gonna do that right now. Now it's really easy to do. All you have to do is go over to new and pick a tempo that you think has the right groove that you're looking for. Now just to review, our original tempo was 128. I'm slowing it down to 98. Now, after that, all you have to do is click do it. All right. Now, as you can see, our loop markers changed. What the MPC software did was it time stretched the entire sample. Now, if you just want to time stretch that segment that we had looped before, what you could do is take that loop and extract it to make a new piece of audio and then time stretch it so it doesn't do the whole sample and it just does the parts that were in the markers. But let's play our new slowed down sample and see how it sounds. Now, as you can see, it sounds remarkably slower than it was at first. So, in a nutshell, it's been time stretched. And that's pretty much the gist of how it works. If you have any questions, feel free to hit us up at drummachineaddicts at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow us on social media. And please don't forget to subscribe so that we can keep giving you guys content. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Once again, it's Drum Machine Addicts, and we are out. See you next Friday. Peace.